the Allegiant American Football and Soccer Stadium is close to the Mandalay Bay Resort and Casino Las Vegas, Nevada. The 65,000 capacity stadium is home to the Las Vegas Raiders NFL team. It was completed in summer 2020 with a little help from an LR1500. At times, there were more than 10 crawler cranes working on the project, including an LR1500 and several LR1300 SX models. The newly purchased LR1500, owned by crane rental company Dielco, was in action both for erecting the structural steelwork and also for hoisting the shell elements into position. As a result of its large radii and lots of different positions which the crane had to take up during construction work, it was set up with a ballast wagon. Work started on the construction of the new stadium on a greenfield site in 2017. After a construction period of around three years, it was finished in 2020. Welcome to the fourth and final edition of Upload this year. Crawler cranes that have to travel long distances. This is a topic that's becoming more and more important, including at wind farms. If the crane is moved frequently or with heavy equipment on uneven terrain, signs of wear will naturally occur more quickly. In the worst case scenario, cracks may even appear on load-bearing components and the travel gear may suffer permanent damage. The travel gear on the crawler carrier consists of a travel drive with tumblers, cast base plates and hardened track rollers. As a result of the high stresses on the steel-steel contact surfaces, it's simply not possible to prevent wear on these components. The service life of the components depends on a range of factors. First of all, the ground conditions of the site track. Is the track even or uneven? Is it made of timber, concrete, gravel or sand? The next important point is the length and direction of the distance to be covered. Is the route straight or does it include curves? Finally, weight plays a role, as does the center of gravity of the crane and, of course, the maintenance and cleaning of the crane's travel gear. And the ground conditions. The crawler crane should always be moved on a horizontally leveled surface with adequate load-bearing capacity. Delves, bumps, tracks that fall away to the side and other types of unevenness must be avoided, as the whole weight of the crane will then only be borne by some of the track rollers. This will therefore increase wear on the track rollers and base plates. The cost of leveling tracks may be significant but it's always a worthwhile exercise. Another important factor to remember is that overheating increases wear. We therefore recommend that during the maneuver, you monitor the temperature on the travel drive and the crawler carrier's track rollers, especially the external track rollers. A thermal imaging camera can be used for this. The travel drive must not exceed a temperature of maximum 90 degrees Celsius for any length of time. The place to measure the temperature is between the gearbox and brake. The temperature of the track rollers should never exceed 100 degrees Celsius. And finally, we recommend regular maintenance. It's important to clean the crawler chains at regular intervals and to remove any materials that may cause additional wear, such as mud or stones. It's also important to check the chain tension at regular intervals. And please ensure that everything's properly lubricated. The track rollers and tumblers are greased by the automatic lubrication system. Check the lubricant level at regular intervals and also check the system for leaks and signs of damage. You'll find a lot more important information on moving crawler cranes in the owner's manual. It's not just crawler cranes that can be used for jobs at wind farms, however. R-Type LG lattice boom mobile cranes are also designed for this purpose. High lifting capacity on a mobile chassis that can be driven on any road. And now featuring an even stronger boom. Let's go to Basenbach. More powerful and stable in the wind. That's a rough summary of the main benefits that we've delivered for our customers in the form of our innovative SX2 and SX3 boom systems for crawler and lattice boom cranes. The reinforced booms are not just especially helpful for wind power crane operations, but that is indeed their main purpose. 
The SX3 version delivers a major increase in lifting capacity of 20% and significantly higher wind tolerance compared to the conventional SX version. A new Leapair LG1750 crane that was fitted with the SX3 version benefited from these features during work at a wind farm in Basenberg. The lattice boom mobile crane, operated by Dutch crane contractor for sure, erected two turbines in the northeast of Germany with hub heights of 166 meters. Johan Basemer, a seasoned crane operator at Fashor, was also delighted with his new crane system. The SX3 boom increases our capacity. That is precisely why we can erect this new type of wind turbine at its enormous height so efficiently with this crane. Because of its high lifting capacity, the LG1750 with the SX3 boom was sent specially for this purpose. And now things get really exciting. Finally, we can take a closer look at the new generation of Liebherr cranes, Likon 3 cranes. Electronics is the greatest masterpiece for the new generation of cranes. The Likon 3 control system is a dazzling array of new software, a dizzyingly fast data bus, new programming language, significantly more storage space and high computer performance, as well as improved safety tools. Nikolaus, why do we need Likon 3? The progress made in microelectronics has been immense. We must keep up to date, which means we need to continue to develop our cranes. Complex applications like our Vario base, which require a great deal of performance data, can now be developed more frequently in the future. And our current Lecon 2 control system is reaching the limits of its capacity. We can't say exactly when these applications will come, but one thing is certain, they will definitely come. And when they do, the infrastructure must be ready for them. We can see very little of the microelectronics, the new programming language and the storage space, but what we can see is a completely redesigned crane. How did that all come about? The newly designed driver's cab and the crane's new appearance actually have nothing to do with the new control system, of course. But as a result of the very high synergy effects, we decided to redesign the crane and the driver's cab at the same time as launch the Lecon 3 system. And the new driver's cab delivers additional improvements for the crane driver. These include the new multifunction steering wheel, improved fittings and button modules. We have also installed new displays. There will be a touchscreen display in the crane superstructure to deliver improved ergonomy and greater convenience. We have also revised and simplified how the displays show the information. We always stringently ensure that a person who has operated a Liebherr crane before will be able to continue seamlessly with the new crane. The similarities with the current control system are very great. You can quickly familiarize yourself with the new display. And that makes switching from Likon 2 to Likon 3 very easy. What other benefits are there? We have completely new heating controls for the driver's cab and the crane cab to enhance comfort. We have also installed a modern automatic heating and climate control system. In addition to the standard radio with hands-free facility, we can supply a double DIN radio with DAB Plus as an option, which can be used in the future to display images from the rear view camera. The new LED technology is a real plus as a result of its long service life. It will last a very long time and also delivers improved lighting. The complete lighting package has been improved and can now be operated with LED. All Lycon 3 cranes are prepared for telematics and fleet management as standard. Our crane operators can then simply open and analyze all the crane details and information about the crane using our MyLeapair customer portal. We will provide more information on this shortly. We've already presented the first mobile crane to feature the new Lycon 3 control system, the LTM 1110-5.2. Others will soon follow. Thanks very much, you two. You're welcome. Lots of our customers get in touch with us when they have some tricky hoisting work to complete. And we're always delighted to be faced with new challenges. The boss of crane and heavy haulage contractor Riga Mainz, Uwe Langer, is an acknowledged expert in this field and came to us in the middle of the year with an inquiry. His idea was the PLT, that stands for Power Lift Tower, and they can really move things.
We receive lots of inquiries relating to bridge construction, and now we have specialized a little bit in this, particularly the equipment which will be required in the future to install large bridges, which are so heavy that they simply cannot be done using a mobile or crawler crane. We have been a customer of Liebherr in Ehingen for 40 years, and the thing is that they have large weights and the appropriate cranes available there to conduct a test using a load of over 1,000 tons. Liebherr immediately agreed to help us, and the tests enabled us to gain some important information. This technology just does not exist at the moment. So it's always great to have a partner like Liebherr who can provide all-round crane support services so that we can carry out a test like the one we conducted recently. We're delighted to hear it. And we have something to share with you. Working with our customers is actually great fun and brings benefits to both of us. And that's all for today. We'll be back in January when we'll be looking in a little more detail at the subject of engine technologies. See you then!